And one of the initiatives earmarked for funding in the budget is combating anti-Semitism. More than $10 million will go towards those efforts across the state of Florida. Jade Jarvis joining us now in the studio tonight. And Jade, you spoke with a leader in our local Jewish community to get their reaction to this. Yeah, that's right, Felicia and Tiffany. I talked to Josephine Gahn, who is the executive director of community affairs for the Jewish Federation of Palm Beach County. She says they're pleased to see these resources going towards security in the Jewish community. Tuesday, Governor Ron DeSantis announced his focus on Florida's future budget proposal for the 2024-2025 fiscal year. In it, millions of dollars earmarked for several different initiatives, including combating anti-Semitism across the state. In Florida, where we make up about 3% of the population, we're victims of 80% of all religious-based hate crimes. $10 million will go towards enhancing safety measures, hiring school safety officers, upgrading safety equipment, facilities and technology, and increasing security services at all Florida Jewish Day schools. $600,000 will go to the Florida Holocaust Museum and another $100,000 for the Florida Holocaust Task Force. An acknowledgement that, um, unfortunately, our institutions and our schools need to be hardened and need to have greater security is a reality. Um, we welcome it. We don't relish it, uh, but we welcome this assistance because we can't fit this bill ourselves. Josephine Gahn, the executive director of community affairs for the Jewish Federation of Palm Beach County, says that over the years, those in the Jewish community have asked lawmakers for help to increase funding for security. But these recent efforts have mostly been initiated by the legislature and governor after the attack on Israel by Hamas. The message it sends is that we want to make sure our Jewish community is protected and safe and able to live full lives as, as residents of Florida. And this money, of course, supplements the funding approved by lawmakers during last month's special session to support the Jewish community during the Israel-Hamas war. In studio, Jay Jarvis, WPBF 25 News.